Software Spring Presence What are the differences between Switch and IF in Google Sheets? Hi folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial, which highlights the differences between the Switch and IF functions. This is the data for this tutorial. This is the case value pair table. Here is a quick intro to the switch and if functions. Switch searches expression for each case and returns corresponding value of matching case. Switch can return a default value if expression does not match a case. If functions within if can replace switch, but formula will be complex. If, unlike switch, does not automatically apply formula to the entire range. Here are the syntaxes and examples of switch and if function formulas. The syntax of the switch function formula is. Let's look at an example. This is the expression. This is case one value one pair. This is case 2 value 2 pair. This is default value. The syntax of the if function formula is. Here is an example. This is the logical expression. This is the value if logical expression is true. This is the value. If logical expression is false. Going forward, let's compare switch and if by using them for assigning discount to part numbers as per discount table. We are all set to type the switch function formula. First, type the equal to symbol S, W, and select switch. For expression, Select this range, and type comma. For case 1, click this cell, and type comma. For value 1, click this cell, and type comma. For case 2, click this cell, and type comma. For value 2, click this cell, and type comma. Lastly, for default, click this cell. The final formula is Press Enter. There you go. Switch has returned the relevant values for matching cases and the default for cases that did not match. Now, let's use the if function equivalent of switch. Type the equal to symbol I, F, and select if. For logical expression, click this cell, type the equal to symbol, click this cell, and type comma. For value if true, click this cell. Type comma. For value if false, nest another if function, construct a logical expression, clicking this cell, typing the equal to symbol, and clicking this cell. Then, type comma. For value if true, and value if false, click this cell, type comma, and click this cell, and type two closing parenthesis. Press enter. Before we copy the formula, down these cells, we have to lock these addresses, so they do not change, when the formula is copied. Click this cell. Click before each case and value, and default, and press F4. The final formula is Press Enter Click the tick mark to autofill these cells with the formula Alright, the if function formula has given the same result 
but the formula is complex, and, it does not automatically apply, to entire range. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.